morning trying to get into a receptive headspace as I head toward the runes this morning. I've got some exploratory things coming up this week, some testing. Um, I never know where body stands with that. So interesting to see what the body says through the runes this morning. We have Yara. Yara, we touched on some last week in the context of the gaz. The gaz means day and Yara means year. And they sit opposite each other on the runic wheel, the runic calendar that I work with. And where the gaz is day and the way that I approach it is heart accounting, like what gives me meaning in a day? What's my harvest in a day? My really most important bountiful things in a day. Um, Yera is harvest for the year, hearth accounting in the way that I look at it. What do I need to do more of? What should I do less of? What should I try that's completely out of the frame for me? Um, what didn't work? What absolutely sustains me? This kind of questioning at the most sacred level of self. It can be literal. It can be across life harvest. But but I typically think of these as like how I move with my agency in uh, fulfilling my calling, in, in engaging and sustaining my community. What is the best way that I can move and continue moving? It's funny because when I was getting ready this morning, I was like, what am I going to do if Yera comes up? <laughs> because it's, it's a rune in this context that can be easy to fall into in terms of analytics. Like, it, it's too easy to be in the mental space of, well, what did I do to trigger what's going on with my body right now? What should I have done? What what should I never do? What should I always do? And constantly trying to stay on the pulse of like every aspect of what influences how I feel physically and to a large degree mentally. So, you know, what is body's inventory? What is body's harvest? It really comes down to um, how did I nourish myself today? What felt good? Um, who did I spend time with that enhanced who I am and how I feel? And quite possibly, who did I spend time with that detracted from how I feel, that, that really changed my experience of body in a way that was uncomfortable? So when we sit with Yera as the ability to assess our harvest, we're talking about what tools help us be who we are better. You know, what, what, what tools help us apply our calling? And that's a kind of strategy. It's the ability to apply strategy to our agency in a sense. And quite frankly, sometimes body is held hostage by that. You know, sometimes I make decisions that aren't the best decisions for my body, but they're super fun or they taste great. Or I like this person, but maybe just not the best company for, for the space that I'm in right now. There's also the aspect of Yera with body that is like things I don't get to choose, things that I have to do to ensure that there will be a harvest, like get up and go to work today or use my energy in this capacity that is really tiring, like yard work or you know, on some days it's even just folding the clothes. So, you know, there's this, there's a negotiation that comes up with Yera that can be uncomfortable and yet, we have, to, we have to make those decisions. We make them all the time. 
the thing that I feel most from body as I sit with this room, though, is trust. Like, my body has never been angry at me. It has never been vengeful toward me for choices that I've made, supportive or not so supportive. So, that's that's the feeling I take into sitting with Yara today. And I feel really grateful to the sweetness that is my body.